Hey guys, how it's going? Hello. Thanks for watching. Have you ever seen footage of animals being slaughtered before? You have? Footage? Have you ever seen it in real life? Uh, I saw a, a pig or never, never a cow. Oh, okay. Um, where was that situation, if you don't mind me asking? In Texas. Oh, okay. And it was just a pig that they were slaughtering for food or something? Cool. Um, how did that feel, man? I've actually never seen something like that in real life, real time. I've been hunting, so I'm used to it. So oh, okay, cool. So, yeah, it was just like another day kind of thing. Yeah. I guess Pretty so, much, yeah. 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 Um, do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions about hunting? Go for it. What, what's your motive? What's my motive? Yeah. Food. Oh, I mean, okay. It is, it's exhilarating too. Yeah, so the, the enjoyment, yeah. um, like on, on some level the pleasure. Yeah, yeah, it's, ex it's exciting, yeah. Yeah, it would be going around with a gun and like aiming and shit, that would be fun. <laughs> um, do you see any moral issue with that? With hunting? Yeah. I do not. What about the fact that you could have just eaten something else and didn't need to kill someone to get food? Well, something's going to die to get food, so I'd rather go hunting for something as opposed to but, pay for it at the market anyways. But if you're going to go buy, buy, buy blueberries, no one's getting shot, you know what I mean? Right. So, I like meat though. Okay, so, so, so it just comes down to taste preference for you? Part of it. Well, is there another part that you are aware of? That's a big part of it. I enjoy meat. I've grown up eating yeah, yeah. meat and fruits just darn is filling to me. Sure. Fruit was just an example. There's so many foods though, right? Like vegetables, beans, grains, nuts, seeds. Um, but that aside, so mostly it's for flavor and also you've grown up with it and um, it, you're just sort of used to it. Same like me, I grew up with it as well. Um, I ate meat for every day, every meal for the first 26 years of my life. Um, mainly I did because I believed I had to for health which I think a lot of people do. Um, do. Do you believe that by any chance? I'm just curious. For health? Not necessarily, no. Okay, so you, you would agree if I said then that we can get every single essential nutrient we need from a plant-based diet? Um, as far as like iron and things like that, I wouldn't know about that. I don't, I don't oh, you're not, not too sure, not too sure, sure, sure. Um, yeah, well, that is the fact. Um, everything you need, you can get from plants. So when I learned that, because I was a personal trainer for a long time first, and I was shocked to not understand that, what I eventually learned was that we can get everything we need from plants, which made it very hard for me to justify paying or contributing to um, what, what I now saw as unnecessary violence and unnecessary suffering. Yeah, um, I guess because I feel like we would never be okay with someone inflicting that kind of pain on us, so why is it okay for us to do it to them? You know, I don't want to get hunted, so I feel like we should just extend that same basic respect to back to others. Fair. The golden I, I rule. I agree with the unnecessary, how you put it, the cruelty for animals, I don't think it should be cruel, but I don't yeah. think that means we shouldn't eat them. Okay, well, why should we eat them? Why yeah. should, well, be, I, because, I because, we're given dominion over the animals. So you're religious and you believe in um, the what the Bible says in a way about it? Is that yeah. where you're coming from there? That's part of it. Okay. Um, That's why I don't find any wrong in it. I, I agree well, with well, cruelty is wrong. I agree with that. Sure. Well, I just don't see how you can get meat on your plate without cruelty. If you're going to kill an animal, that is a cruel act, in my opinion. You're robbing them of their entire existence, their entire miracle of being created. That's why murder, even if you kill someone and they don't feel it or see it coming and it's in their sleep, you're still going to be in a lot of trouble for murdering someone. There's, it's not a humane murder, you know what I mean? Do you think that carnivorous animals are murdering each other? I think that... I think that... Oh, if they could, I would like them to, but I don't think I can probably reason with them. But I think that carnivorous animals, they kill to survive, they have to. Uh, whereas we have a choice in 2019. We have a choice to kill someone for nutrients or to get our nutrients from plants. Um, back to the Bible, in the first chapter, God gave us, I don't know how to say it word for word, but basically something like, God gives us every plant, every seed bearing plant, that is our food. That's in the Garden of Eden where everything was perfect. Um, I don't think, personally, from what I understand about Jesus, that he would be cool with this. I think that's more something that the devil would probably be okay with. With that? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. Well, okay, okay, then let's use your example of hunting. I don't think if Jesus knew that you could go and eat all this other delicious food, I don't think he'd want you to go and shoot beautiful animals. I think he'd prefer you to just eat the other foods. 
I mean, it's debatable. It's debatable. So, because the Bible has been translated so many times, when they talk about fish, it's actually more likely, from what I've read, that they're talking about sea vegetables. Even if back in the day, 2,000 years ago, that was the only way to feed the village kind of thing, I still don't think in 2019, when we do have an abundance of options, it's a totally different world to what it was 2,000 years ago, I don't think he'd be okay with causing unnecessary suffering and death of these childlike beings who just have done nothing wrong to us and just as sweet little babies, you know? Um, I don't think Jesus, the Lamb of God and the Prince of Peace would be okay with going and shooting a mother or anything like that. I think it's so, so opposite direction from what Jesus would like, personally. So, well, if that's your argument, then I would say he, there was fish, he was a fisherman first, or he, sorry, he went and collected fishermen. Okay. So they, they did fish, it was fish they were eating. And okay. also, uh, he's also referred to as the Lamb of God, he was the shepherd, and shepherds, they did that, they... You, make, they you actually eat. make excellent points, they're great points. So I guess I'd just come back to this argument. Do you think God would prefer you to be a killer or a lover of animals? Do you think you think he'd want you to be a killer when you don't have to kill? You don't I, think I he don't might? Think he, like I don't. Okay, like hunters who hunt for sport, right? I, I don't think that's what. Right. No, no. Right. But 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 what I'm talking about, because what you said is you kill for food and you kill for the exhilaration. Now, that's you, part of it, yeah. no, that's, that's what I understand. I'm not yeah. saying that's a big part or small. I'm just saying it's a part. There's two two parts that you mentioned. Now for food. You don't need to kill for food. That's my argument. We can get food without killing anybody. And then the second argument of the exhilaration, my question would be, do you think your enjoyment of uh, activity warrants you killing a feeling, emotional, intelligent, sentient being who did nothing wrong to you? No, but because I, I hunted with him too. So no, but I would rather kill for my own food than get it from a market. I, think I would too. I would, I would rather kill an animal myself than have them live a life of misery in right. a factory farm first. Right. But I don't think we should be looking for a lesser of two evils or to the right way to do the wrong thing. I think we should let them live this miracle and love them and respect them and take care of them, not shoot them in the body which causes them harm and suffering and we're ending a life. You know, it's, it's a circle of death question then. Yeah, so yeah. In Texas, there is, there's a limit on what you can kill or whatnot, and that's because there's an overpopulation otherwise. Yeah. If you, if you don't, then they starve and die anyways. Mm -hmm. So, what's your argument to that? Uh, I think that we shouldn't be looking at murder, which is what I would call it, for the first point of action when it comes to balancing out ecosystems. So and how and would you fix it? It would just depend, place, this be um, place specific. But there's other options. So you could trap and release, spray and neuter. Um, there's what my argument to that as well would be currently, there's a lot of people like I was and like you both currently are who are willing to kill animals just because we like how they taste, um, you know, basically. So when they're actually posing some sort of issue to themselves or to our own way of living, there's going to be no worries killing them for that reason. When people care more about our fellow earthlings, we aren't going to make our first point of action to just kill. Um, so I think, although I might not have every answer to every specific situation of what's going on, I think those answers will come when a more general idea in our society is love and protect rather than enslave and murder. Uh, I think and that's just a... a raising of consciousness that is currently happening with a lot of people where you extend your circle of compassion to all beings you treat all beings the way that you'd like to be treated you know the golden rule um love thy neighbor so treat others the way you want to be treated that's what it's all about right and i think you put yourself in any of the animals that we're talking about any of their situations they would rather not get shot they'd rather spend time with their family and go and eat and enjoy existence um, I think that's what is obvious that we'd all prefer. And so, if I don't need to kill an animal to eat, cool. I can't imagine why I would, you know, I just won't. I'll, I would rather, you know, um, it wasn't easy straight away to just ditch this way I've lived my whole life. Took a little bit of trial and error, a few mistakes here and there, but now I couldn't be more grateful because I feel like I've aligned more with who God wanted me to be. 
more compassionate, more respectful, more loving, more peaceful, spreading the love, you know, spreading the light. Uh, I really feel like this is a, it's very in align with, with religions that have love at their core. What was that? I said that's a new way for you to think of it. Yeah, that's how I feel about it. And um, I don't judge, I try my best, I'm human, but I try my best not to judge anybody with a different opinion because I had one too and it was quite recently. Um, and we're born into a society that normalizes this violence and tells us that it's okay, that it's natural, that it's normal and that it's necessary to kill and eat animals. And I think in 50 years time, just like slavery was legal and we thought it was normal and just like women didn't have the same rights as men and we thought it was normal and okay. I think in 50 years time, there's gonna be a lot more people on this earth who think that what we're doing to animals, killing them needlessly for entertainment or for the taste pleasure, I think there's a lot more people are gonna have a really, really big problem with that. Just like we already do now. And yeah, I think that's where we're moving. And we would love you guys to join that party because let's just say you, for example, I don't know how many animals you've already killed, but let's say you kill two a year for the rest of your life. You know, not including the animals that you eat. Most people eat a couple of hundred animals every single year. Let's not even include them. Even if there's just 60 less victims of the bullet because you decided to live a more compassionate way of life, that would be really significant for those 60 individuals, brother. And I think that would deeply, deeply respect that and I think you would also feel really much better about making that choice than making the choice to continue killing after this conversation because you probably never thought of it this way before and now hopefully, you know, the least, the least is that it's something that you give more thought to um, and who knows what will happen from there. Maybe you'll still disagree or maybe you'll be like, that guy actually had a point and I'm going to think about it more and now that I've thought about it, yeah, I, maybe I shouldn't kill anymore. You too, bro. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for coming over and watching what we're doing here. Thank you so much as well. Um, what's your names? Zach. Zach and Kelsey. 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 James. James. Yeah. Um, let me see if I got a card. I don't know if I do. Yo, do you have a card? Oh, he wasn't even looking at me. <laughs> hey, thanks so much, man. Wow, businessman brought me the cards. Um, <laughs> There's a few things on there, there's a few documentaries. That's the speech actually, the best speech you'll ever hear that inspired me on, at the start of my journey. That's the health stuff, that's the environmental stuff both on. Um, and if you guys ever do decide, maybe I'll just try going vegan, maybe just as a health experiment, maybe just to see what the food's like, whatever. Maybe because you decide that you wanna cause less suffering to animals, this is just a free thing you can do, Vegan 22. Okay. And he'll go up and tell you all about it and that's it, I'll just leave you with that. Appreciate it, man. So I'm sorry, Kelsey and Zach. Okay, nice really appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. Like Thanks, bro. Yeah. Hey, it's all about animal rights. This yeah. is the line that says, lions kill for need, humans kill for greed. That's when we rescued a bunch of the baby chicks from what you're looking at right now. Yeah. It's that fucked up. Um, we are fighting until every cage is empty, not until every cage is comfortable. This is a orangutan and a baby. Because the heart beats under a covering of feather scales, wings or fur, it is for that reason to be of no account. I've got a couple of starving children here and it says every morsel of meat we eat is slapping the tear-stained face of a hungry child because we feed animals over 10 times more food than what we take from them. So it's a, obviously, yeah, a big... Uh, that alone, actually for me, if we all just banded together and just ate plants, we could end world hunger probably 13 times. Um, I wish we would all just do it just for that reason alone. Anyway, because 20,000 children die every single day of starvation. Um, I've got Einstein up here. He said nothing will benefit human health more than our chance that he said nothing will benefit human health and our chances for survival more than the evolution to a vegetarian diet, which back then was a vegan diet. Um, and a cow getting slaughtered here and says Auschwitz begins whenever someone looks at a slaughterhouse and thinks they're only animals. And then a butterfly here. And it says, Be the change you wish to see in the world. That's Gandhi, bro. He was an animal rights guy as well. Yeah. Um, Awesome guys, have a great rest of your evening. Thanks so much for your time, really appreciate it.